after we got it to see, we was getting a snowman. So grab a paper and let's get started. So first we will start by marking out those guidelines starting from here. So as usual as this is a snowman, we'll start by drawing a circle over here and a bigger, more of like an oval circle uh, oval right beneath it. So we'll start by the circle. Just like that. Now goes well that was too about this need both of these ovals and circles need to overlap but not too much right over here you like that and now once you're done We'll just draw kind of like starting right over here. Starting right over here. And like so, once you're done, we'll draw some dots, I mean the circles right over here. Now a couple more of these lines. And a stick. And one more over here. Now the eyes and the nose. And yeah, once you're done, you'll get it just like this. Now, as we're done with our drawing of the guidelines, now we'll step over and start darkening this. So I'll use a darker pencil for this. I'm using this pen pencil. You don't necessarily need that. Just have a darker pencil and that's enough. Yeah, and now I'll just zoom it in and now we'll start darkening this. Right, starting from the nose, then on the eyes, just right there, and then you don't need this to be dark. We'll just make that a little light too, if that's enough. Now starting from this head. And like so. So once these he uh, the hat and the eyes and nose is over, even if you're using a pen pencil, it would be better to use a pencil after that. So starting right over here, we'll go right.
boil and good like so. Once you're done, we'll just do this. In like so. Now from there, we'll darken these spikes, like dividing right over here. And we will end it like so. You're done there, we will just start doing it from here. All the way back. Now for the stick hand and both the sides. Now for the last one, I'm using the mechanical pencil. There you got your snowman figure. Once you got that, we'll now raise those guidelines and start shading this. Starting from here. Don't you worry, you'll get it like so. Now I'm just darkening those places where I accidentally erased, which I need. Just like these. And like so. And once you got this, we'll start shading as I said before. So I'll click my pencil and 
should start trading on here. So I'll zoom in once again for the eyes. And yeah. Now first I'll draw the pupils and both the ones. In M. And start shading it with dark black of your pencil. Leaving the pupils and just do the rest of the part. And you get it like so. Yeah. Once you're done, we'll just using a V dark a V light sheet, just color this part. Right here. inside this too. Yeah, when you're done, we will now do the hat. Starting right over here with the light shade using the side of the edge of your pencil. Go all the way throughout. Once you're done, we'll do the same for you too. Using the same shade and and with the side edge of the pencil. Now, once you're done there, using a bit more darker shade, we'll color the shade this part right over here. And you get it like so. When you're done, we'll now step on to our next thing. So we'll just darken this. Yep. And now, alternate to this thing uh, could become darker. So this one would be darker. This one would be dark either. This one will be darker too. And then other three would be light. Starting right over here. And this one too. And when you finish, we will now add the shadows. As we will for today's sketch once again, we'll, the sun is coming right over here, so the shadows would be over here so first I'll mark uh, where the shadows would come right over here and for this right over here so I'll first add the shadows over here part and then to the dark woods Then we will now just add those shadows right over here. You see a bit lighter one. Just like so. Once you're done with that, we'll now Use the dark shade and just give it a shade on the part. Starting with you here. on these words starting over here using a very light shade the one you we use over here and darker over here light 
and dark. The dark here and light over here. Now you see a dark one. To be more precise, the darkest one, we use this shade out over here. And then you'll get it like so. Now we'll add the shadows once again, starting right over here. So we'll just shade these parts. Like so. When you're done, we'll now just shade this part. As if the shadows and then right over here. And so then you'll get it like this. Then after that, I'll just shade off or over here using the lightest possible shade you got. So right over here. It's just like really light shading. Just to show that there is color over there, a little cream color. And yeah, not perfect pure white. So you can give your more least darkest shade and you now do the same over this part starting over here Once you're done, using the darkest possible shade, but using the shade grip, we will now go over and shade over this part for the shadows. Okay. You want to see an even darker
So once you're done, uh, I'm gonna use this uh, tissue paper to blend this a little bit. Even if you don't have tissue paper, that doesn't even really matter because you could take a waste paper and just shade that out. So maybe oh, thank you. And once you're done, just zoom out, and that's pretty. And once you finish, just zoom out, and that's pretty much it. That's how you get a snowman. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure to check out this video right over here and the playlist over here. That's it for this video, and see you right there.